Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. Um, would you like to introduce yourself before we get any any further in? Uh, yeah. So I am uh, well, Terminator O Nine, and uh, well, Nathan. Mm -hmm. And uh, Silver asked me to do an interview today. Yeah, we're we're gonna be playing Terraria together. We can uh, do whatever you feel like at the moment. Okay, so I do have one question for you. Yes. Uh, so what made you like? Why why do you want to interview me? I guess well, is my question. Um, well, I've known you for a little bit of time. You seem like a very interesting person. Uh, you I... have life experience that I don't have. And I want to get to know that life experience a little bit more. Okay, well, cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm a, I little, guess... a little interesting. I think you're a little more than a little more, but let's start with the first question of why did you accept the invite? Um... I was threatened. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I, uh, well, just how you said, uh, that, you know, you want to learn more about me. I feel like I have things to share. All right, cool. The next question is, what do you do? <sighs> that is a great question. Mm -hmm. Uh, so right now I'm playing Terraria mm -hmm. and I'm being interviewed by Silverstorm. Yeah, that um, is what you're doing. Yeah, so, uh, next question. Th that isn't what you do, though. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, uh, I guess I'll start with kind of the social stuff. So, uh, I do a lot of, I do a lot of, uh, just photo and video editing. Um, so, uh, like photography and videos I take with my uh, GoPro and then I'll like cut and splice them together to uh, music and mm -hmm. I have like a YouTube channel that I put all those together on called uh, pretty much everything mm -hmm. and I've been doing that for a while and it's been really slow but <laughs> it's been fun to do because I I just enjoy uh, creating videos Good. I'm glad you enjoy it. Next question is, why do you do what you do? Because I enjoy it. And and I guess to add on to the question before, um, I have a job in design, so like computer-aided design, and I enjoy it. So I, I just, I do what I enjoy and I try to try to stay on that path because if I'm not enjoying it, then I should, probably shouldn't be doing that. Hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, it's decided to find enjoyment otherwhere, elsewhere. Mm. Mm hmm But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed those things. That's great. Do you make things? Uh, yeah. So, um, definitely with the videos and, uh, with cooking. I, I really enjoy cooking. Mm-hmm and lately has been more working on vehicles i was working on my dirt bike all year and working on my uh my pontiac fiero that i got this year and cool. uh i actually need the fiero to finish a video mm. but it uh the it it ate my key oh I, I went to start the car and it would not turn off. The key is stuck in the ignition. Uh oh. So we <laughs> had to shut good. it off. Oh no. It's all right. You had to shut so it off. We, so we had to shut it off from the actual, um, like, like the engine, because the engine is in the rear of the car. We had to shut it off from the engine and uh, disconnect the battery just to be able to to get it off, but the key is still inside of it. Hmm. That's, that sounds a little scary. Yeah, so that's been unfortunate, um, but 
uh, after this, I can actually send you the like the little demo I've got from the video that I'm making because I I'm really happy with with how it's turning out. I am using a the 360 camera for the first time. Nice. That's awesome. That's really cool. Next question is why do you make things? Um I think I started with the GoPro videos because I was just like I think I was in between uh like moving schools and I was just trying to find like my own thing to do. Mm -hmm. So I I'm pretty sure I I think I picked up the video editing to kind of like look back at the things that I've accomplished and and I still do that today like I'll I'll rewatch the videos I've made and stuff and mm -hmm. and uh it's sometimes I just need a reminder of the things that I've done in life. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next question is why do you really make things? Probably to really uh, share them with the world. Mm -hmm. Like uh, that would that would probably be the definitive okay. definitive answer. And I mean, it's kind of like like my high being able to see my my own work because uh, this is something that I didn't talk about yet. When I make a video. Mm -hmm. A lot of times before I even make the video, I see it worked out in my head long before the video is even put together. Mm -hmm. And so like when I made my last, uh, my last video with, what was it with, uh, it was a dirt bike video that used the 50s song Blackjack Davey and the cover song by the White Stripes. And it combined to form this just this weird kind of. It was kind of like creepy at first, but then it worked into the kind of more rock version of the cover song, and and that whole video I had like pretty much mapped out in my head, and and so being able to like see that come to like like materialize in front of me was that was cool yeah like being okay. able to actually like plan it out see it through and that was my first time kind of like learning to uh not really animate as in draw but like animate the the video and the borders of the video to fit within like my tv screen Mm -hmm. Like as I walk towards the TV screen, the angles of the or like the corners of the video were changing and stuff. So I had to, to. I had to like change all that as I was like frame by frame, mm -hmm. moving it so it looked like it was actually playing on TV. Yeah. Because I, I basically, I basically took the video I had and, um, put it on the TV as like a green screen kind of deal mm -hmm. um so that that was cool yeah i think i saw um, that video i liked it yeah that that thank you that one i was really happy with how that one turned out who is someone you like so it doesn't have to be romantic like but like someone who you appreciate or find cool someone that you just like you think uh, you meet probably Markiplier. Yeah. Which I got done watching a video from him today. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... I don't know how to add to that. <laughs> I guess I'll add to it by asking you the next question, which has a bit more meat to it, which is, why do you like Markiplier? Why do you like them? Uh, I don't know. I see him as more of an inspiration than like most people around me, honestly. Yeah. How so? Explain that a little bit more, if you would, if you he, could. He, uh, I mean, on top of just like playing games, like he kind of does the same thing where he <laughs> will go on a rant, uh, for what he wants to do or wants to try to do, and then he will do it. Like he'll put mm -hmm. whatever together that he wants to do. Mm-hmm. I I kind of struggle with that actually like uh 
like committing to what I want done with uh, like my ideas, but uh, when it's usually neat when they when I do f finish them. Yeah. What do you like about yourself? Uh, hmm. Definitely my creative side. Mm hmm Um, with, what well, with all the videos I make, and, and on one side that's, that's great, and it keeps me going with projects, but on the other side I'm creating projects before I even finish other ones, so. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's also a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about yourself inspires you? God, like this kind of answers itself from another question, <laughs> but it's it's definitely like my own videos. Because mm -hmm. I, I said that before, like I will literally watch my, my own videos if I do need like a inspiration. touch of inspiration. Yeah, that's great. That's um, awesome. Because cause if it's not my videos, it's it would be me looking or like looking for or trying to video something new. Mm -hmm. And like I, I've got so many like dirt bike videos out there I, that I try to come up with a new like mounting perspective or something on my dirt mm -hmm. bike or or I try just to take a non dirt bike video at all because I want to try to get videos of something that somebody doesn't have. Uh, how do you react in uncomfortable situations? Ooh, uh, <laughs> I am getting better at that, but before I would just straight up freeze. Yeah. Like, like just like I need to go crawl in a corner and don't look <laughs> at me. Yeah. Maybe. Do you want the next question? Uh, sure. Um, who are you? I am Terminator. Okay. Who are you to yourself? I'm just, I'm trying, somebody trying to live my best life. <laughs> Fair enough. I feel that. <laughs> that's that's pretty much the gist of it. Like I, yeah. I just want to make sure that I've... Oh, I clicked off. That I want to do everything that, you know, I want to do before I go. Yeah. I want to make, make, make my mark. Yeah. What does your mark look like for you? Uh, being remembered. Yeah. For, I mean... Like even just something small, like like streaming or something, just being I don't know, known, having uh, made people laugh. Yeah. Okay, I can understand that. All right. Outside of race, gender, and career, how would you describe yourself? Sure. What is something that scares you? Hmm. Not feeling accomplished. Yeah. Do you want to explain more of what, Not, that, well, what you mean that, by that? Yes. And that kind of ties into the not being remembered thing, too. Mm hmm. Uh, just. Cause I, I can't say. I mean, of course, like being in a dark alley with some creepy folks can you know, can be a little scary, but mm -hmm. as far as, like, actual fear goes, I would say that uh, I just, just not not having done again, like, not having done all that I can do before I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's understandable. Um, what is the hardest thing you've ever had to overcome? Uh, I think it'd be smart for me to just say cancer. Yeah. Oh, we're back at the center. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I would say it was, it was that. 
Um, yeah. I didn't really know it at the time because I was really too young to understand it, but um, I, I don't know if it was something that I could have done again at my age today. Because yeah. I say it's so much easier for young kids to go through with it. So you had... You were the one who had cancel, or someone who was close to you? I did. Ah, oh, wow. That... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was... Uh, I had three years of uh, chemo. Wow. That's a long yeah, three, time. Three years of chemo, and then... Uh, then, like, radiation, too. So they didn't really know how... You know, that was going to affect me down the road, and... Um, like, so I, I still go in yearly, just mm -hmm. get uh, checked out and stuff, but, uh, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's going good. Like, I'm good. making made A's through school, and, and, uh, I wasn't able to, to get through nursing the first time I went through it, mm -hmm. and I did, I stopped with it after that, because I wasn't really enjoying what I was doing because like I would do all of the clinical and practice stuff right but it was mm -hmm. the testing that was just so screwy yeah uh so I'm I'm glad that I got into design and I still have a lot to learn in design because I had most of my life to prepare for or to to think about nursing and mm -hmm. I've only had maybe the last two and a half years to think about design and i'm already working as a uh cad tech for one of the biggest electrical companies in my area nice what frustrates you the most about life see i i have made it like my mission to just see things as a like it is what it is kind of attitude mm -hmm. and that's been really hard because my dad definitely doesn't have that attitude yeah uh like he 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 feels strongly about whatever doesn't go his way yeah and so in a way i guess i've tried my best to to not do the same mm -hmm. so um i, I guess it could be like <laughs> probably i guess car troubles <laughs> yeah car, car troubles definitely aren't good because um they normally seem to absolutely not work when you need them to mm, mm -hmm. um, they break down at the like, most inopportune of times or or just have issues that don't seem right at all or like with yeah. my arrow straight up just eating my key like that. <laughs> yeah. like that's like that's uncalled for like i turned you on just to move <laughs> you a couple inches back but no go ahead and, and eat the key uh what excites you the most about life or not life in general but what what excites you the most in general sorry <laughs> uh, i'd say discovering new things i i'd say traveling is definitely the most exciting yeah exploring Seeing new stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty fun. Why did you agree to the game we are playing? Uh, because I love Terraria. Yeah. Tell me more about uh, Terraria. Yes. I've played Terraria since it came out. Like, I, I started by playing it on my phone. Mm-hmm. And I've... I can't even, like, remember the number of, like, how many times I've played this game. Yeah. Uh, I've just restarted it so many times. Like, I, I normally get to... Before, I mean, Hard World... Or hard Mode didn't even exist. Mm -hmm. Like, Hard Mode came in a later update, so when I was on my phone, uh, updates came so far and few between. So when Hard Mode came out, that was cool. Mm -hmm. And the UI on it was was great. Like, it was mm -hmm. perfect for a mobile game. And then they basically gave you the functions similar to, like, a PC console 
on your phone screen when (laughs) 1.3 came out and Uh it was just it was way too much yeah like they they did not need to make everything available to you Mm. but they Um, did yeah they did so uh so i was playing on console for a while too and then i eventually started playing on pc and realized that i mean pc master race Mm -hmm. it it really is just so much better because especially you don't have to jump with the uh you don't have to try to like jump with the joystick to make it more convenient for fighting Mm -hmm. you can just jump with the space bar and use different buttons for heals instead of sacrificing a button for heal like it's just a lot better like terraria itself as a game is just it's just fun i'm glad it's it's recognized by so many people because i think it's like the seventh best best selling game on steam Mm -hmm. and it just like the the developers are are just cool too like they they just keep adding more and more to this game despite them having their like fifth final update already yep they keep saying this is the last one Mm -hmm. and then it not being the last one (laughs) exactly and uh i like the idea of playing a game like this where it i don't know like like just killing enemies is satisfying Mm -hmm. when you get to the point when you can kill like hordes of enemies it just I don't know, it just tickles that part of my brain. Yeah. Next question is, what is something you are proud of? Uh, definitely the videos I make. Yeah. You uh... have, And I would say the, uh, I guess, I don't know, just, just striving to to do more yeah you've uh, put a lot of care into the videos that you make oh yeah for sure i i mean there's past videos i've made where like i can definitely tell the level of like expertise has increased as i make them like uh, mm-hmm. uh i can tell when i used to make other videos my main goal was just getting it done at times because i was working on it for so long Mm -hmm. (laughs) and um like with the sphere of video i won't be able to finish it until early summer because of the seasonal change thing that i want to do yeah there's seasonal Um, requirements yeah so it's it's definitely something that it's a process and it takes time but i like to see that with each video I've done something that has is new to me too because like I want to get better at video editing in general mm-hmm. so learning how to where did, where did it go learning how to uh, mess with the 360 footage has definitely been been neat especially mm-hmm. because uh it's very touchy like if you don't like if you look at it funny it just it'll turn black (laughs) like all the video will just turn black for some reason oh no yeah i don't know why it does it um i've tried figuring out on like a uh like an adobe premiere forum Mm -hmm. and some guy was asking and nobody had an answer like it was just a bunch of people asking why this was happening and it was recent too mm-hmm. hmm. I'm like it this this is weird that this yeah. is even a problem but uh it affected more than just you what is your most prized possession and why i <laughs> so i think like because i don't have many material things like when i when i moved uh Mm -hmm. i was very surprised with how many things that i just threw away instead of like putting in storage yeah but something that i will never get rid of is i have a 
2003 set of Hot Wheels cars that nice. I will never let go of. It's mm -hmm. a it was a series called uh, it was Highway 35, mm -hmm. and it was like a world world race kind of deal, mm -hmm. and basically there was a team. And there was a team leader, and each team had their own, like, decals and, mm -hmm. uh, like, car styles. So, oh, it, and it launched with, like, a comic book from each team member. And Interesting. And it had, like, a case, and it launched with uh, movies alongside mm -hmm. the, the cars. And then in 2005, they had a sequel to it where they released a whole new series of cars and movies and stuff. And mm -hmm. it ended in a huge cliffhanger. And I can go on forever about how much it frustrates <laughs> me. But they yeah. like Hot Wheels gets crap for it all the time because people are like telling them <laughs> to finish the show. <laughs> like, where's the where's the end of that story? <laughs> yeah, and so like uh, today you see the memes about. It was like a some company asked, like, what what if fans always bug you about bringing back or something? And and they Hot Wheels pitched in or Mattel pitched in. They were like, they were like, uh, fans bring back accelerators. Or <laughs> that's what the other series was. But uh -huh. um, it was neat because if you research it, the creator originally created it because. He had the idea after 9 11, mm -hmm. and he wanted it to be. I need he wanted the idea to be racing around the world, bringing like the world back together. Because mm -hmm. at the time, like, like we we were in disarray with how much, uh, like we kind of feared other countries and like terrorism yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he did that to bring the world together, and he wanted it was called Highway 35 because there were 35 different cars, which mm. was one of their like biggest um, sets that they had ever put out at the mm. time, and it was hard for them to animate that because they actually had to animate at one point 35 different cars on screen. Yeah, and then after that, they just focused on like kind of the main characters of the series but like it's it's good like i can rewatch it today and enjoy it and and i just think that's funny that like something yeah. from from 03 just has that much value like yeah. i'm sure it has some nostalgic value to me too but like it yeah it uh it's that's definitely something that i'll never get rid of is that that car set uh how do you take care of yourself and do you mean more of like a the process or like like if I take care of myself well? Um, what is your process? Mine is definitely doing what I enjoy, um, mm -hmm. but also getting stuff done too. Because I know that if I don't feel like I'm getting enough done, then I can't really do what I enjoy because then I'm just thinking about what I haven't gotten done yet. Yeah, I feel that. That also is a problem for me. <laughs> yeah, I, that can just spiral sometimes. So mm -hmm. uh, I've off and on started creating like lists during work, like what I need to get done. And mm -hmm. those lists, I, I have a work side of things I need to do and a home side. And the home side always is uh, astronomically bigger than the work <laughs> side. It always is. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, this. Mm -hmm. what is a question you wish for me to ask you i i am not not too sure all right i'm gonna ask you one anyway <laughs> okay uh why why motorbikes what what got you into that hobby okay i like this question <laughs> um i mean just a stereotypical guy like motorbike <laughs> yeah uh, i think so i started i started riding a dirt bike around when i was eight mm -hmm. and then got a little bit bigger bike when i was like 
13, and then, uh, the one I have now is a little bit bigger. Actually, it's too big as far as, mm -hmm. like, height, height for me, so I need to get it lowered at some point. Yeah. And, uh, it is a KDX 200, uh, Kawasaki, so it's green. Oh. And this thing, it's a two-stroke, so I had to get used to that, and it's a little bit, um, it's, it's beefy. It's made mm -hmm. for the woods, it's made for long rides, and it's got, like, a travel bag on the back of it and stuff, and mm -hmm. I got this thing thinking that it was, you know, ready to ride, and, oh, god, it had so many problems. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it... It, I think I said it already, but it was a 1990, and it, um, it just, I mean, for starters, the kickstand on it belonged to another bike, and it had a Teflon block bolted to the bottom of it, mm -hmm. so instead of standing slanted, it stayed straight up, and it would just fall over if you didn't have it on flat concrete. Oh, gosh. Uh, the bike itself weighs... I think like I think it was like 220 pounds mm -hmm. so it's a little bit heavier than I'm used to uh, mm -hmm. so they I've already gotten it stuck in the woods and <laughs> it was like muddy at the time so I would push up on it and my feet would just slide back oh no <laughs> yeah uh, there's and that's not even counting the internals like I didn't I didn't even feel comfortable working on dirt bikes before this, but I've been in and out of it so many times that I, I can comfortably go inside of it, take the clutch out, take the water pump out, take everything apart and put it back together because I've done it so many times now. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever had it before me did not put the right clutch pack in it. It belonged uh -oh. to a different bike. Uh-oh. And that's like, you know, that's how it shifts uh-huh that's really not good yeah not good uh the water pump was bent so it was scraping the aluminum casing on the inside of it which oh no not, not good uh, -uh. uh and i had been in all in and out of that and it's still having an issue but it's like a a minor issue like something that just needs more like tuning than actual like physical work so mm -hmm. so that's good but uh slowly slowly making it my own bike mm -hmm. and removing the errors of its past <laughs> Re refurbishing it to its its rightful design exactly exactly and oh, it. it's it's so much fun to ride it just it just tears nice i'm glad you enjoy it when are you the happiest? When I'm playing Terraria. <laughs> yeah? Uh... Honestly, when I just feel like I've gotten what I want done mm -hmm. through the day or the week, because then, then I can focus on what I want to focus on without worrying about like, like, oh yeah, I I didn't you know, do this or that. It's just mm -hmm. not on the back of my head. You don't have the dishwasher uh, in the back of your mind while you try to be creative. <laughs> yeah, which I I am on top of that stuff. I, I normally while I'm cooking, I'm doing dishes because yeah. I, I hate having like pots and stuff mm -hmm. out while I'm cooking, because I just know that it's just going to pile on top of each other. Yeah, that's usually yeah, the so best I, time to do it. Yeah, so I'd say... Uh, I'd say getting, getting stuff done and just knowing that I, I have... I, I'd say that the happiest isn't, like, when I'm actually doing the things that make me happy, but, like, uh, the times approaching when I'm doing mm -hmm. something yeah. uh, like like looking forward or like when I used to look forward to a show or movie coming out 
Mm -hmm. that, that kind of deal. Like how, how you'd feel yeah. like looking up to Christmas. Yeah. And, but then now you've just opened your presents at Christmas. And it's like, oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah. One last question is, who would you like to see me interview next? Uh, that's, I might have to do a little workshopping because mm -hmm. I have not kept up with your interviews, admittedly. That's okay. You uh, don't have to. It's not a requirement. Does that mean somebody recommended me? No. Okay. I recommended you from me. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> so you, re so it was you. Yes, it was me. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Have you done? I feel like you've done skunk monkey. Uh, yes, we've. I've interviewed skunk. Have you done J Geek? No, I have not. Do you think? Do you think J Geek would would like an interview? I can always ask. I haven't. I haven't talked to him for a bit, but I think you've done done morbid already, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think Jake Geek might be interested. All right, I'll uh, I'll give him an ask. Yeah, I don't I don't says. know I don't know some of the new. Well, with and that was the last question that that I had for you. So with that done, I will now address the invisible audience. Hey, hello! Thanks for being here. Hello. Thank you for and en en enjoying. And if you liked what you heard today, you probably will enjoy more of Terminator's content. So where where can where can people find you, Terminator? Uh so I have the uh pretty much everything YouTube channel and that basically has my like uh more outdoorsy GoPro and photography stuff. Mm -hmm. And then and I, I think I have some shorts on there that Weirdly enough, gains me a lot more popularity than the videos that I actually work yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, the trend. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a little silly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it it's frustrating. Actually, if there's one thing that frustrates me, it's that. <laughs> the algorithm? Yeah. I get yeah, that. the algorithm. <laughs> the al it's the algorithm's fault. <laughs> it is. And then uh, I... My game channel on youtube which it was pme central but then i ended up having like three different names between twitch and youtube so that's mm -hmm. my name terminator 09 and then mm -hmm. uh it should have the it should be the same profile pic as what you're using mm -hmm. and then of as course what you're seeing my, now. yeah and then of course what my uh my Twitch channel is Terminator O nine two. All right, they Where there should be I... links below for both of those. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add today before we wrap this up? Uh, I really just thanks for asking me to to do this. <laughs> I hope it was a good time. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, it was. It was nice to come back to. Terraria. I I thought about just kind of like starting over on yeah. Terraria, and, but introducing like a couple quality of life mods before I dip into like the calamity mods and the bigger stuff. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. That might be yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing this with me. I appreciate your time and your energy and your honesty. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I'm glad that I felt up to doing it because I was not okay just a couple days ago <laughs> yeah you I was, uh i was sick yeah you you've gone through some stuff <laughs> yeah all right well thank you again um let me try to remember how i wrap this up i think i do something along the lines of thank you the invisible audience for also listening and i hope you all take care and have a lovely rest of your day and that uh yeah all right thank you again take care right. good night thank you everybody yeah bye